I'm not watching. I'm, I'm starting. <coughs> God, I should have got my coffee first. Uh, so, Japan died. So, Manchu's in Japan, and we're starting with Manchu. And uh, then we're gonna go west. Uh, he's got 66 income. I don't think he has the gold. Oh, he does have the gold mine. Ooh, three gold mines. Nice. How much gold income is that? That's nice. His income's pretty shit for having three gold mines. I guess uh, that comes with being a horde and not really producing anything at all. Uh, he is very close to forming Japan, though. Uh, <coughs> some people have been saying you can't form Japan as Manchu, but I mean, you can form Japan as anything. And uh, then his economy is going to be a little better, hopefully. Um, besides that, what he's doing, nothing really happened here. Besides, you know, Japan dying, but that was kind of a while ago now, I think. Uh, Bukhara went into China, and I don't think there was any wars here, was there? No. Nah. Yeah, nothing funny happening here. So he's allied with Qi, rivaled with Siam and Yi. Just for power projection, he's not really doing power projection all that well either. So, Very boring part of the world, yeah. You have power projection interactions on cooldown. Bad Bora. And but he is Jinto. What? He's religion. Manchus. Oh, yeah. He went Shinto, so that's something. But, you know, most of his. What uh, he didn't do, though, is go uh, Theocracy. He went Monarch instead. Um, no, it's not standard. No, I mean, if you can. How, how can you flip theocracy so soon? He's um, pretty far away. By being that. a horde, you reform quite quickly because you only have five reforms, and on the fifth, you get to pick a new government form. So you become a theocracy republic oh. around like 15, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, smart. Yeah, that that's pretty pretty right, seeing as you're gonna go Japan, especially. Going theocracy would have been a lot better. But yeah, I guess kingdom or monarch is uh, good enough. He's got a pretty decent king. Uh, Air's kind of, yeah. I mean, it's all right. Um, a little behind on tech. How is he doing on ideas? Behind on ideas. Can't start his golden era. Might be an idea with this king and econ finish to start golden era, but I don't know. The hordes get like a dev cost penalty. No. Why can't they? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, so might be a good idea to, to just pop Bolden here and uh, dev up a little bit here. And, um, yeah, especially because you're running out of expansion. Still hasn't gone in here. Oh, this is his vessel now, finally. But, um, yeah, after he gets Japan, he's kind of uh, stuck in here, and that's why going uh, Theocracy might have been a good idea. To get a little bit of a navy and then go into Philippines because Malacca's dead and um, that's an option now. But even without theocracy, you can still do it because there's not much, that much competition here. But uh, still not optimal to go kingdom and then go for navy and colonies and such. But anyway, that's about it for Manchu, I think. We're gonna look at Key now. <coughs> A lot of money in the bank for key. Um, is there a new manufacturer coming out soon? Uh, no. All those which are buildable have been already built. Ah. So why are you being built? What's with the money? Or did you I just mean, build everything? Well, what do you do with it? Yes, of course. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's nice, you built everything. Yes. So. Maintaining high level advisors. China is uh, oh not a uh, very nice ruler and golden era on cooldown. What's holding you from popping golden era and just deving the shit out? Of, oh, you already dev the shit out of your country. I mean, so yeah, I have a hard thing. What happens in China? Like, uh, what's the game plan here? <laughs> just chill, I don't know. Just like, vibe and dev. Yeah, of course, and get all these sweet reforms, like this one, for example. It's gonna give me less, 10% less uh, shock damage received. Uh, what's nice. holding you for? Oh, 
I mean, do well, coalitions yeah. really matter now? So, like, what's holding I mean, you from just going nuts, expanding just the elective well, admin? That's or? what I did. I, w I was just a bit busy with Wu because he chose work me three times or two times. So, oh. that that was like a bit of a back, back, I don't know, back yet, back seat. But oh, so something did happen here. I thought this part of the world was just completely boring. No, no, we I fought Wu like a one v one. Did he and play I well? Won. Oh, yeah, he played decently, but his counter was just, like, much weaker, so... Mm -hmm. I didn't really lose anything in the world, it was just time costly, because I didn't want to, you know, go bankrupt and commit a lot. Yeah, makes sense. And, uh, I can see you carved out a pretty big piece. Oh, yeah, something, at least. That's nice. How's the China split? Do you have one? Oh, yeah, we do have one, but... It I mean, it was a bit complicated. I don't really want to like talk about Diplo, you know, because oh. there are. Mm, I can see why he wouldn't. <laughs> there are different people in the West, Chat and I don't, I don't know. I should just talk about the country. But that is the interesting thing. Ugh. <laughs> Look, numbers. How boring is that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you're doing better than Manchu economically. That's that, that's for sure. Um, Morale's looking good, some uh, professionalism saved up, good shit, but, uh, yeah. I guess you could get an extra colony from the policy and just start colonizing Taiwan Philippines. Sure, actually, I didn't even think about that. Mm, but you already have Yi in Taiwan, so we're yeah. going to have uh, two Chinese governments fighting over Taiwan, whoever saw that coming. Sure. Yeah. I mean... Uh, the whole point of this region is that it's gonna get gobbled up by Portugal, so it is? or Britain, that is. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's one of these. I don't know. They seem pretty far away to me. Where they have any colonies? We see <laughs> he has Diego Garcia, but still pretty far, you know. It's just a no, question spy... of time, and you can't really fight them. Look at the Spice Island. Oh, he's in here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. There's no point, really. Oh yeah, there's no straight here. I think a straight here might be a good idea. But well, realistic. Yeah, but anyway, I would say that is about it for key. Uh, fully built, very strong. Two hundred thirty-five thousand manpower cap. We're just gonna look at Scander for a sec when we're comparing these top countries to see where they rank. If I can find, yep, yeah, Jesus. Why is it all bugged up every time? A bit slower. Yeah. Third on manpower, that's very impressive for a random Chinese miner. Still, uh, current manpower lower than me, so, you know, garbage country. Mm. Anyway, let's uh, look at Yi. Ah, uh, Yi's manpower is considerably lower, I wonder what happened here. Has he not been deving as much? The land is worse for deving. He has a lot of dev clicks, if that's accurate. I mean, he's got... Oof, you got so much fucking farm here. Although this is mainly Bukharas now. Rip. These are some nice food provinces. Does he have any cattle? Nah, so this is, these are all of his food provinces. I can see why he's lacking on manpower. No, and, that doesn't uh, matter. A lot of these are. Sorry. That doesn't matter. That it's like, well, uh, the wrong goods. Those soldiers' workhouse are not even up yet. It's like thirteen, but it's just hills. That's what. That's the problem. And jungles. Mm, and you just have farmland here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unlucky for Yi. But uh, he's still not doing that bad economically. Pretty, pretty decent. Check his advisors. He could run better um, yeah. admin and dip advisors, I think. Yeah, it's this like a so level 3. Cheap. Is that a half cost level 3? Why are they so cheap? This is not even half cost. That's, that's not even... He has 75%. Holy shit, he should Why be... Yeah, he could be running level 5 in all categories. Cost? Yeah, um... This is like, e even if they would like only even cost... Even if they're full uh, cost, they're 10. 9 ducats a month, so... Yeah. Huh. That's, that's so worth it. Yeah, that is really weird not to be getting the mana generation up. Uh, he didn't fire his golden era, and he could. 
I don't know why it's grayed out, because he has three even without... Oh, no, he basically one dev. Unlucky. Or he can now uh, one trade center. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't really know why so many people are waiting on Golden Heroes, because, like, the earlier you pop it to just dev the shit out of your country, the better, and it's not like he's gonna run into some farmlands anytime it's soon. It's not really true, you just wait for universities, and then you dev. Mm. And then you pop the Golden Heroes, that's what people wait for, I think. That's pretty smart. You see, I don't think about smart things like that. What the heck are you using again? 17. Oof. Don't you yeah. think that's a bit late? Yeah, it's a bit late, but it's worth it because then it's, you get like... Oh, uh, <clears throat> death cost like 7 or 6 point for one click, so it's worth it. Yeah, I guess. It's just like you don't really scale until then if you don't just death push. But yeah, you don't. I guess it's pretty situational. Him and you still have a lot of expansion to do, so... You exactly. Know, there is that. Um, how is he doing on morale? 4.6, so about on par with key. Yeah, manpower is a lot lower, like we said. I think you had better ICA as well? Yeah, I have better armor quality. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> nice. Like, it's an okay nation. He has just 20% morale idea in his nation ideas. It's like a Chinese France pretty nice but these morale's pretty low for that I would yep I think he just has no I don't know power protection or army tradition all he does I guess it's the advisors policies whatever he can get it higher I think I wonder if you already popped the discipline missionary if that's what he's fishing for here but uh, anyway what's his diplomacy like enlighten us mm, it... he has power I mean... projection shit on cooldown too what I don't know. I have no idea how this is Diplo, honestly. Oh, you haven't been observing? I mean, I didn't really care. Wow. He's your fellow Chinese person. But, uh, yeah. From the looks of it, he's still allied to Sayam. That's been on for a while, from what I remember. Our uh, rival with Bengal. Siam's also rival with Bengal, so they might be threatened by Bengal finally, and Bengal's getting, uh, money from the Khan now so that that would be very threatening especially since Bengal's kind of pushed in now although nothing really changed here since last session so another kind of boring part of the world Yi and Siam still have a lot of expansion to do so they're not really as um, forced to go to war as Bengal is right now and um, that's why I'd be thinking he had a better fort line here because I thought there was a mountain here somewhere or not, I guess not all the way here but that's not a very good fort position but yeah, maybe improve your fort line with Bengal a little bit because I don't know what this is is this actually a very good fort position because he could snipe reinforcements yeah, and also the princes are very big so if you scorch that it's gonna take two months to get there yeah, that's very smart actually. Although, if we put the fort here, uh, then you can snipe reinforcements because this is the only province they can come from. So you put the fort. Oh, they can come through here too. And the, the fucking wasteland here is. Yeah, weird. Anyway, uh, that's it for you. Again, not much happening here. We're gonna look at the uh, car now and see how he scaled. 270 income. I don't think he's number one anymore. Uh, no, it's the sorry. trades comer that is number one. Yeah, the Khan 335. That's a lot. But uh, he's getting uh, Bengal's trade, right? Yeah. So. Yes. Which is very freaky. I mean, it's not Cringy. as much as I thought. He's only getting 44 from Bengal. Yeah, 44, and then you've got a... He also... He, no, he pushes for Bengal. Yeah, he gets 44, but you know. I was expecting it to be a lot that's more. Mul that's multiplied when it goes for resist, like, way more than that. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, what I'm trying to say is he'd still be higher, even without it, but... Yeah, I mean, the con is just making yeah. much. Anyway, um... Very good income. Uh, decent trade setup. 
have you made Kazan into an end node practically? Yeah, very little. More or less. Very little leaks. I'm too autistic to be honest about coastal promises, so I didn't care about the last trade center in Novgorod. Yeah, I've heard about that. That's uh, it's a bit strange. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not gonna get any coastal provinces at all? Maybe not. Like. And this doesn't count. Uh, a, not really. <laughs> well, I mean, by definition, it's a sea, but there are no coastal provinces there. You don't feel threatened by the British in the Caspian Sea? Mm, not really. Ugh, I see. The British should uh, work better to project their power then. <laughs> I, I just hope that the British don't get addicted to caviar or something. Then I'd be worried. Yeah. Uh, everything that is fine and nice in life, we are in the A lot of uh, army professionalism saved up. I think it might be the highest on army professionalism among players. Yeah, that idea is really nice. It gives passive army, army professionalism. Oh no, Tuscany beat you. Where the Tuscany has it of all people? You get passive. Yes. <clears throat> That's yeah. Nice mod, Kasmak. I didn't make this, <laughs> but yeah. Um, blame Dave. Yeah, blame Dave. That's a lot of mil points per month. Damn. So yes. wh what's happening in Bukhara? Um, nothing much. I'm like pressing the gaming buttons for four hours. The every session. The gaming buttons. Yeah, the game. Yeah, these buttons. Do you do you this enjoy is the, the fact that there's no uh, state dev cost edict? So you can press uh, the game no. buttons through here. I still can't because I have to look through. Uh, I mean, that's not an advantage. We have prosperity instead, which is like the oldest mechanic in the game, Com especially when compared to like the dev edict that comes at an opportunity the cost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> freaking prosperity fans versus dev edict enjoyers, you know. But pros prosperity paints the map green. This is mm. well, yeah, painting but this yeah, is I don't. Separate, <laughs> I this is don't like the from, mechanic. This is separate from Bakara. But I told you, like, if your main thing was to get rid of the the micro of uh, having to put on the edicts, then just reduce the cooldown, like, make it so you don't have to wait a year, and then maybe there's an increased uh, state maintenance cost instead. That is very yeah. smart. I might reconsider that. Or just remove the edict entirely to you and nerf devving a bit, you know? Well, that's what they work. did. Yeah, but like, yeah, true. But I mean, the same for prosperity. If you like, consider the baseline purple remote, which is well, what I this mean, one is are, based on. Yeah, uh, there, there, there are, are better are, ways to nerf devving. There are gamer buttons you haven't clicked. Just... Uh, I Okay, oh wow, I missed like one manufacturer where I built another Very building. Very okay. bad gamer. No, but I, wow. apart from manufacturers, I built where I dev, it's not really... Even GB built all his, and I had to pay off debt. Yeah, um, but you don't have 200 provinces. <laughs> this is, uh, how, many, how many provinces do you even have? Like, not that many. <laughs> how many provinces does Bukhara have? Oof. That's a lot. Uh, how, how many was that? 248. 248. Oh, yeah, turn, okay, so like 250 provinces. Yeah, okay. And... <laughs> well, uh, Oh, we're still Age of Discovery, right? I keep forgetting. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes I do enjoy the uh, age bonus for uh, have combat ability. Kind of weird, champ. We still didn't get the new victory cards. We're four years short of them, so there's nothing to look at there. Uh, this is the first part of the world where we had some uh, interesting shit happening. Uh, Bukhara joined a war versus Austria, Tuscany, Poland, and Hesse uh, that attacked Hungary. And uh, Bukhara joined as an equalizing force. I think Ethiopia was involved in the war too somehow. It was it was just a gangbang. And uh, was it the White Beast that got forced in the end, or? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it was a uh, one before. It was kind of cringe. So you know. That was. I did do something about that. The only war we had in this part of the world so far. Let me go look at the war ledger. I don't think there was much that happened in it. Burgundian War definitely had a way more casualties. Uh, Hungarian, where is it? Was this? No. It's the the Hessian conquest of Oldenburg. Yeah, let's just do. What's that first one? No, no. Oh, you said the Burgundian War. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, my I was bad. just talking about the. 
Uh, that was the Austrian conquest of pause to me right there. Are you sure? Yeah. There was also the first like yeah, Hungary QQ the war is the second uh, on the list. Hess isn't here though. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's there. Hess is there. You like have your, oh, you have your pointer blind. on it. I, I am very blind. Look at those casualties. They were they were complaining a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can see why because you guys were inflicting a lot more casualties than they were. Was this just the Poles that died or what? Mm, possible. Who died the most? Uh, total casualties. Oh, Austrians died the most. I was expecting Poland to get raped because this country was half occupied. Any stack wipes? Nah, that's sad. But uh, yeah, the balance of uh, casualties in this war is pretty nutty. And uh, I think that was attributed solely to your morale. What was the morale balance like in the war? I'm not sure actually. I think I had like five morale. That's pretty nice. Oh, I actually unmuted now. It, it wasn't just his morale though. Like the traits we had with him was atrocious. Yes, like <laughs> seventy-five percent cav compatibility. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! And you have a hundred and eight cav, of course. Good yeah. mod, guys, my good mod. This I is what we call think, gaming. We, we were losing five k in five k in every take, and he was losing two hundred. Oh yeah. God. What a meme. This is a nice mod. And yeah. he has twenty percent art compatibility too. This country is so balanced. Um, I don't know. There are two compatibilities, not as impactful as people. It's not that good for yeah. like ninety percent of the game. Not that good, but we're just trading five k to two hundred. No, I mean. If you're talking base, that's the worst moment to fight Bukhara ever. Like it's like to no, the I, I don't think they were planning to fight Bukhara. I think they just wanted the quick no. gag back on Hungary and then Bukhara. Yeah, gang. but that's also not the thing to do. So it's basically their problem. Like maybe don't gang Hungary. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, also, it wasn't really a gang. It was a three v one. Like it was a four v one. Pretty gang. It was a four v one after Bukhara joined. It was an like, ugly gang. Well, I mean, I've, I've also like deliberately actually built full cab stacks, and I mean, Poland could hypothetically do the same and uh, be yeah, about as efficient think, as me. I don't think about as efficient is the right thing to say here. Oh, like he he gets even more cab combat ability than I do. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, Poland has about the same cab combat ability. That is, I think that he, poor, is he lacking so. quality ideas or something. Uh, yeah, he hasn't. Finished, oh, okay. so he got the cap compatibility from. Yeah, I mean, the, like, there's a policy. Maybe there's a age bonus if he hasn't taken that. And you know, uh, I'm not sure. He seems to have taken all that. He yeah, should be able to think, accumulate more than. I think this than... is his cap, though. Uh, yeah. uh, no, it's Cossex as well. It's 20 percent, so he gets to 80 80 percent. Oh, so he would be way higher than you, but he's way too poor to maintain cavalry. So. Yeah, well, it's not my fault that he hasn't built up this economy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, pretty. Pretty big miss from Poland not to go for cavalry armies, because Jesus Christ, that would have been nutty. Like, he has even more than uh, Bukhara does, and he has... Why doesn't he have Cossacks? Did he give all the steps to Hungary? Yeah, he didn't get any yes. promises. Why? Because he's um, bald. He lacks critical information. That's weird, champ. But uh, anyway, uh, bad Poland play, I guess. Uh, What's my manpower like? Your manpower is at 385. I think that is the highest in the world. Uh, I think yes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like... And Alusha might be higher since he went yeah. quantity. But no. uh, yeah. Anyway, that's enough for uh, Bukhara. Let's uh, look at Indians now. Or did I look? No, I did. did I look at Sam? No, I didn't. No. no. Yeah. Nope. Let's look at Siam then. Uh, Siam killed uh, Malacca. Not. This session, but the one before, and uh, from what I heard, Malaka didn't really put up a fight at all, and now he has all this free shit, which is uh, something people keep underestimating. There's a lot of fucking dev here, and uh, a lot of good trade goods, but now that Portugal's in the Spice Islands, so it's not gonna be as great for him, unless he starts building ships, which he's not really doing. So he's not gonna be able to hold any of this if Portugal just decides to end, which. I don't see why he wouldn't, because, I mean, this is free land. So all of these islands are free land for Portugal, because Siam can't really defend them. Um, built forts on straight... Wasn't there a fucking strait here? There is. It's very faint. 
Oh, right, yeah. Build forts on straits so that Portugal can just empty it easily. Um, running very high level advisors. His economy is not that great yet. I don't think he consolidated Malacca. Yeah, a lot of centers of trade. Oh, just one center of trade that he's missing, actually. But uh, only has half the. Uh, he could probably. He's getting the malos from collecting not in his main trade now, so he could probably actually. Yeah, you're gonna uh, make start more start money start uh, collecting. Yeah, you should push down the trade from there because he's collecting there now and start collecting in. You should make uh, like Malacca your probably. main trade node and uh, push everything here. You're gonna make a lot more money because uh, you have all the centers of trade. Uh, the only reason you're at uh, half the trade power is because you're getting the big malice. Ma mal whatever but uh, yeah when you fix that you're gonna be I think 80% of it is gonna be yours or higher unless Portugal starts sending ships here but even then just upgrade your centers of trade there's still two level ones and you can make a level three and uh, yeah so good shit just push your trade there and you'll make more money big brain plays uh, has he been devving <clears throat> has he been pressing the gamer button? Not as much as the other people we've looked at so far have. Yeah, but it's still a decent amount. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've <laughs> looked at some of the best attentions so far. Fairly decent amount, I guess. Um, you should be going for Crownland a little more at this point. Uh, I don't think the keeping it low for sales is... Uh, because your economy is starting to build up, you don't really depend on that sale of titles. No, 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 no. Don't listen to don't listen to Cashmack, please. You need Look to build manufacturing. You need to build manufacturing. Is he missing as manufacturing? I mean, apparently. Oh. Oh, he has. Look at all what he can build. So just sell and build, please, for the love of God. Uh. I mean, can he get? Hmm, I I guess sell them. I don't know. Flappy might be right Ugh, again. Um, but yeah, after you build up manufacturers and sort out your economy with uh, moving the trade around, you definitely want to push uh, to 100% crown land to shift to nobility because your manpower is kind of low and you really depend on getting that early. Otherwise, you're just going to get rolled by your neighbors who, have <coughs> who are going to have a lot more manpower if they do that. I mean, he's not really a competitor right now, but he's also your ally, so you two kind of depend on each other, and I'm gonna guess Bengal has... Oh. Kind of on par with Bengal. He's keeping his crown land pretty low, too. Why is Bengal so low? On, uh... Wait, champ. Anyway, let's take a look. Check his dev clicks. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to Bengal in a sec. Oh, yeah, okay. Just wanted to finish up Siam. Uh, he also has the opportunity to fire Gold Nero with a fairly good... Uh, ruler and uh, decent air as well and uh, just uh, I mean the air is gonna help you quarrel this and uh, devil devil lot and he's sitting on a lot of mill so he can already start dev pushing if he fires gold in era but again like flapster said earlier you might want to wait for universities if you wanna be greedy but uh, I think dev pushing now and then getting ready to enter be into might be a better option because Bengal is gonna attack soon and he might be looking to ally Portugal, so I don't know if you have the luxury of waiting for universities. I mean, he can always fire it if he gets deck on, decked on, right? Yeah, but no, I'm saying fire it to dev with, and then you're stronger when they actually int you. Plus, you get that's morale. I don't you... think that's how it works. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's it is, but it, you don't get that much. It's whatever. Also, I would like to notice two things, that he has, like, two 1k regiments on his forts, so that he can scorch it when... Bengal attacks. Pretty so, cool. Such a smart guy. That is very good. And uh, it looks like he has a very good fort line. I don't remember if he had a bad mm. one before. Um, but yeah, pretty decent now. I would uh, maybe put the fort here instead though, so you don't just get cut off from your entire, you know, whatever this is, part. But... Uh, yeah, pretty decent fort line here. I don't know if it can be any better, and it doesn't look like it can. Anyway, that's about it for Siam. Uh, again, nothing really happening here. Allied to Yi, rivaled with Bengal, Dekan, and Manchu. And has 
Timurids are key as enemies. Flappy joining the gang, I see. What? Are you planning to gank poor Siam by rivaling mm. him? Of course. Flappy the ganker. <coughs> Alright, Bengal. Uh, doing a little better. Uh, then Siam on morale, yeah, by point three, and can be improved further with the morale advisor. And I don't know if he has any missions that he hasn't fired. Does Miguel have a morale mission? He has a permanent one for Burma. Yeah. He's already got Burma. it. Though. It's still <clears throat> yeah. yeah, he's fired. Uh, but yeah, it's like a good call. Making a decent amount of money and also getting a very nice trade deal with the Khan, although you could be asking more because you know the Khan's rich. Um, has he been pushing the gamer button? Yeah, a fair amount, but not as much as the previous countries we've looked at. Now, I wonder. Because I was expecting his manpower to be a lot higher, so... I mean, the thing about him is that he expanded a lot and he was really behind on ideas in the previous sessions, so he probably needed to catch up on that. He still didn't finish <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's still behind on Pluto. But... So he gave up uh, ideas on deving for expansion, which I guess is fine in the long term, but... Yeah, it's greedy, but, you know, no one really punished him for it, no one was there to punish him for it, yeah. so it was, a, it was a good play, because these two were uh, really it, weak. Yeah, it's risky, but it worked out, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with his um, death cost idea and Golden Era unpopped, he, he can dev push a lot if he wants to, so he can uh, scale a lot in the next session. But, uh, kind of cucked out of expansion. Not that he really I, needs it right now, though, so... The thing is, is he culture converting, is the question. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he flipped religion so that he could. Um, I think he's just starting. He just started. I mean, no, I think all of these are Nepalese. No, no. No, they're not. They're not? And you can look, he's also trying to convert some others. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, shouldn't that show up here? Maybe. <laughs> Adopted yeah, Nepal adopted Nepal. Yeah. So I guess he is culture converting very slowly though, but uh, he's doing it. Um, I mean, that's the win condition <coughs> here, yeah. <clears throat> he needs to do it a lot now though. When it's this big, this is going to be really painful. I don't even know if this is a good move to be honest. I think it's too late. Like his I, ideas aren't so that. Worth his it. ideas are pretty good. Like he just no. doesn't have morale. No. No, no, they're very bad. Oh. It's mm. horrible, terrible, horrible. What there's is, nothing. What is there's this there's like, in Nepal? Until Everything. until late game, like there's that's basically <laughs> a ten infantry combat ability to fight with, and that's more or less nothing. Hmm. Uh, he should have flipped to uh, Nepali yeah. like first or second session, probably. Yeah. Yeah, Just, but that's what I'm saying. I don't. No, know I disagree. He needs the dev cost. Well, yeah, but he, 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 no, well, he flips, the, he flips the culture first, and then he oh, devs, and right, then he you're forms. Right. You're exactly. right. You're right. Um, because uh, Nepali ideas are like they're arguably almost as good as Prussian, mm. and they're definitely the strongest in Asia. Like, it's just gonna cost him so fucking much to do it now. Yeah, but it's still worth it because otherwise he just dies. This country has no morale, has no discipline, and, has nothing. Um, to save him. Wasn't there a culture conversion fucking policy that we had? He has it enabled. He has it enabled. Are you sure? Oh, uh, wait. I saw so. I mean, look at the post There's like, our policies currently give us... Yeah, close this cash mark. Cash mark. You, you might you. get it on the third our... one. Yeah, this, oh. this. I guess this is bugged then, because it's not showing up among... Oh, yeah, it's probably active. bugged. Yeah. Yeah, probably bugged. Yeah, there is someone else's policy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, give him some mill points and you can see if he gets it after he finishes the third one because you get the new ideas after finishing the idea group, no, right? No, no, he already has it active, so okay. it, this is just bugged. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, how much is it costing him to convert shit now? Where is the fucking thing? 
converting, converting. Yeah, he's converting a lot already. Jesus fucking Christ, he's already converting everything he can. I'm just gonna have to cancel one and see how much it costs him. Oof, that is still a lot. Pain. Yeah, that is very painful, and like you could be dabbing with that. But, you know, I guess it's worth it for getting Nepal. It's just a um, very, very unfortunate situation here. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it for Bengal. Uh, nothing happened here last session. Just uh, devving. And uh, let's look at the con. <coughs> uh, nothing happened here either. He's about the same manpower as uh, Bengal. And morale is slightly higher. Econ is where he shines, though. Like, he has the best econ in the world. And, um... What is it? It's like quadruple Bengal's income. So, could could we see what um, is? Uh, he's getting how, how how much he's getting from the uh, trade deal that they have? Like uh, he's hypothetically, getting forty-four from trade. Yeah, uh, with Bengal. Um, how much is he subsidizing Bengal with? Fifty-five. Uh, 55. I wonder the incre <laughs> increases. Uh, his income is probably mm. much, much more than I Bengal. Think lower I, think than I think Bengal is getting scammed here, actually. No, 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 it's not. Yeah, well, Bengal, he flipped religion, so he was, he was like, really down on the trade uh, thing, so... It's fluid, because he's the more he converts, the, the more that he starts sending, because it's the goods produced malice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice country, though. Um, pretty yeah, much he has everything built. good already built you have one gamer button you haven't pushed and that just irritates me huh. but um, yeah everything is built pretty much um, you are an excellent candidate with, with this much money to sit and wait for universities because when that happens especially with your safe situation when that happens you're just gonna scale into oblivion if you just build unis everywhere and then death push hard exactly because yeah mm -hmm. And uh, in the meanwhile, you can just dev without Golden Era. Your advisors cost a lot. Yeah. You're not even that far over the thing. Uh, he can allow it, so... Yeah, yeah it's it just there. Uh, it's not a cheap advisor, I believe. But I put it to five anyway, because rich. What are your ideas like? Discipline, moral. They're really good. Like, one of the best. Yeah, I can see that. That's really nice. It's every, yeah, it's everything except manpower, basically. Unlucky. What what happened here? Anyway, did anything happen last session? Uh, no. No, no. I mean, well, I got some land in Arabia. Oh. I see. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, there was, was a bunch of AI that Ethiopia had left alive. So I was just like, okay, I've got admin points now. Did you do do CB them? Uh, no, uh, was it, I'm Diplo Vassalized Hermuz, who has cores o all over, like, Timurid's stuff, which, I don't know, could be useful or might not be. I'm not planning on it anytime soon, but then just got a claim. Or no, what is it? I get, uh, through the missions, I get a, you get a claim on Muscat, which is in Yas, and then I use the error bonus because it's still Discovery to get board, uh, claims on claims. Mm. Order and claims, so I just uh, bounced that claim over to AI and uh, decked on them. Nice. And uh, now you're getting some expansion into Hormuz. Poor Andrew always getting bullied by much, much more powerful countries in the neighborhood. Although we haven't looked at Timurids yet, but uh, I'm assuming you're much, much more powerful. Oh yeah, I should be. I'm probably triple his income, although but you know, the... manpower is where I'm weak. Yeah, but that... that's... That's about it for the con. Again, nothing happening in this part of the world. Just uh, sitting, hitting the gamer button. This uh, border looks kind of weird. Why do you have one province in this state? Mainly because... Uh, Did you need this for formation? Or? No. I think uh, I think I just like took it from Malwa or something in wars and... Chad. We, we haven't been too, too fussed. <clears throat> Alright, Timurids, uh, about the same manpower as the Indians have. Uh, really good income compared to, you know, Bengal. I think Bengal was on like 90 or something. Oh, 130, my bad. 
So, yeah, still very good income. Uh, how does this country look dev wise? He devved all the good stuff to 20 and then he's kind of stuck because the rest is really garbage. <coughs> but look at some good QQ land. Oh, he got into Iraq. That's nice. Yeah, and he's got very good expansion into QQ. QQ still has how much uh, dev? Yeah, that's pretty good expansion for Timurids. Um, he's almost at a thousand dev. And how does his morale look? He's uh, I think you were points one lower or something. Uh, not yeah. very much, but I don't think you had the advisor on. No. Oh yeah, that's dangerous. Is he gonna pop that? Did he already get the morale event or whatever from that guy? Mm, what morale event? Or no, isn't there a smaller morale event from the morale of armies guy, or is it completely different? Mm, no, I think it's just for land maintenance. Uh -huh. Okay. Not sure. But uh, anyway, he's going. Does he to still have his morale from the uh, the mission? I don't think so. I think that's been going a while. Oh, did, he, did he pop it? No. Yeah, I think he should still have Indian Raid. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he has Indian Raid available. I thought he used it. Uh, for some reason, I thought he was in a death war. I'm very confused. No. Uh, no, he's had no his... PvP wars, I believe. Huh. That's new. But, um, yeah, uh, Timurids is... Allied to Bukhara, his Bukhara's only ally, yeah. And uh, rivaled with pretty much everyone surrounding him. Ethiopia to the south, Hungary to the west, because Hungary owns Ebetna, and Indians to the east. So, very hostile positioning. But, um, you know, he has Bukhara to protect him. He also got into India somewhat, which I didn't notice. And uh, this is all pretty good land. Or is it? I thought it is, anyway. Yeah, some of this yeah, is some is desert, most is farmlands. Yeah, so not a horrible position, but uh, definitely he's going to need some expansion bridges because most of his land here is just trash. Oh, what, what's good to consider is that, um, you know, the Timurids say like, oh, they might call in Bukhara to help me grab Delhi, but I think it's pretty safe to know that that's not going to happen because if, if Bukhara gets into any PvP wars, then everybody's just going to like fall on my cultures. Yeah, Bukhara's got Chinese, way too many Chinese, enemies now, he's bordering how many players, one, two, we did this count last time as well, and it was way less, but now it's like three in Europe already, uh, I think he's bordering Hungary, yeah, I already counted Hungary in uh, Ruthenia, uh, four is... It's interesting that you make the equation that um, neighbor equals enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's how he, how he usually is. Well, I mean you're you're in China. You've taken land from Hanover and Poland. Oh, no. six, seven, seven uh, player neighbors, and that's just a very, you know, insecure spot to be in. At least when I played Russia a while ago, it just uh, didn't feel nice to border that many players because whatever you do, you just feel like you're gonna get jumped by like fifteen people. It's uh, it's pretty shit. I hope Bukhara has better diplo than I did. Uh, anyway, Timurids is about to consolidate Persia. I think when he gets uh, the rest of QQ, he has all of it. Armenia is still independent, and he's probably going to deck on it right after this, and then he's going to be in a pretty decent spot holding Persia out and uh, kind of be able to fix his trade somewhat, because a fair amount of it is still leaking. Um, but yeah, that's about it for Timur, it's not much else to have to say. He's very behind on ideas. Why is he behind on ideas? Maybe check his advisors or something? That usually... He actually has pretty decent advisors. Yeah, the advisors... I mean, he, he has been kind of, like, bullied, I guess. By, uh, I don't want to point any fingers, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. So, I mean, his country was in a pretty rough spot. I, th I think he, he did get into a pretty bad war the first session, though. I think he's like still almost recovering from that. I forget. No, what was the... no, it was just a bad AI war that I think 
Uh, oh no, right, no, there was some conflict with India, the memoir thing where QQ and oh. Timurids for some reason decided to like almost commit against each other. And mm, I, right, I remember. Um, yeah. Yeah, they didn't actually fight though. They just bought they just murked up and like took loans for the mercs and never fought mm. because it was mountain forts on both sides. Well, anyway, let's take a look at um, Poland. We're gonna we're gonna do a little yeah, since, cra since crazy Mitch, thing uh, here. Yeah. Since Mitch is not here, we should just go Hungary first. We're not gonna <laughs> go to Africa first. Actually, we should start with Hanover and then make it south through Europe. And then we'll do Africa last. Crazy, crazy stuff. I never has good income now. Revolutionary stuff happening here. I mean, it's uh, pretty good for Europe. Compared to last session. What was his income last session? Uh, 50 something. 56, I think it was. Yeah, that's pretty good then. How did you increase your income so much? Did you click the gaming mm, buttons? No, <laughs> look, look at my game of buttons. Like, the production is buttons. shit. Um. Yeah, all my production is just horrible. It's because I switched to Hanover, like they get a little bit better uh, ideas, production. No, oh, goods produced. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Let's get dev cost. That's pretty good. Fire damage received. Yeah, Hanover's got pretty good ideas. Nice. Second best in Germany. Mm-hmm. The problem is just all my production goods are just shit. Yeah. I mean, you have you have iron. Yeah, but that's not gonna carry it's me like that iron. much. Well, iron hasn't gotten prevent yet, so. And then the yeah, rest is just cover. shit. Uh, first gonna be good. First, pretty good. eventually. But yeah, eventually. When uh, you get the trade stations, but well, that's how many techs away? Tech fourteen, I think. 14, yeah. So not that far. You'll get the next session, and then you're gonna get get some more money, and uh, money is good. How is your morale looking? 4.6. Everyone's around 4.6. It's very boring. I'm I'm waiting for someone to be different. Uh, but yeah. Manpower 110k. I think Poland was in like 150. I'm not sure. Oh no, the same. And uh, what is your diplomatic situation like? Allied with Poland and GB, rival with Burgundy, France, Tuscany, and uh, enemies yeah, with Bokara. I helped out his his a lot this fight, uh, this last session. I see. Not really to my beneficial. Are you just being wholesome? Yeah. Any reason? No, well, I started with just his and Berg, uh, his and uh, GB going against Burgundy, and then. Did you oh, get anything there. out of that war at all? I got one. got Oldenburg. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, like, I was willing to give you the East Frisia estate, but yeah, if you don't want it, it's more trade power for me. Not that I'll need it. I mean, that's two farmlands you missed out on. Very wholesome of you. I don't uh, really get the game plan long term here, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I did also try to spawn Protestants with Will having Lübeck still released and releasing uh, Rügen. Yeah, spawned it in Brandenburg anyway, so you know it's close enough. Yeah. I, I can't wait for like 15 people to try and click the <laughs> on, day one. Button on day one, it's gonna be fun. But I built up my force limit a lot, yeah, because I had minus 40% uh, construction cost. Yeah, but when you have uh, more force limit than men, minus forty percent, never a good thing. Bloody. Yeah, yeah, how are you like getting that much? Uh, golden era, and then I had a mission. The mission just went yeah. out. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're thirty now, but still pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, pretty much everything of note is already built, so no more gamer yeah. buttons to push. It's kind of sad. So, what would be the plan for Denmark going forward? You still have some expansion here. I see this is independent, unless this is left for Poland. But uh... well, it originally should be left for Poland, but then Austria would defend. <coughs> uh, <coughs> what? Livonian. Why? What? I'm a defender of the faith. Yeah. Why would I defend that though? Wait, 
wasn't that what you said? No, we I never jump. said that. Oh, anyway, but Poland didn't take it, so <laughs> if, if he doesn't take it, I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Anyway, um, that would be it for Hanover. We're gonna go southwards and look at Poland. So Poland, as we noted previously, has extremely good cap combat ability, and if he gets a uh, step province, he can get another 20%, saying as he's allied with Hungary at think they should be able to negotiate for that, but... No, he doesn't even need to keep the step promise, he just needs it for one month so that he can give a privilege to the Cossacks, and then he'll keep them. And they stay even if he loses the step promise? Yes, if he, if he gives them a privilege, that is. That's pretty nutty, so he should definitely be doing that and getting 20% more cap combat ability, and then even after the age ends, his uh, cap combat ability is gonna be very good. Wait, does he not have the fucking... Is this clicked or not? It's clicked. Oh, I, thought, clicked. I thought I made it 20%, yeah. Yeah, it's here. Cavalry armies, yeah. Never mind. But, uh, yeah, Poland needs to try and figure out his econ so he can support at least one cav stack, uh, get the Cossacks, and then he can literally melt anyone in Europe, because, I mean, they already saw what Bukhar was doing with his cav, and you can take on twice your numbers with this much cav combat ability, and he should definitely be doing that. On top of that, isn't this uh, when he gets the very good pips? Yeah. Or does he get them further on? Where were the best pips for Pro yeah, Wing Corsairs? Oh, they're 22. Yeah, that's a while ahead. But still at 14, it's another uh, Cav tech. So if Poland went for a Cav army now at 14, would be a very good time to do it. Uh, they're going to fall off afterwards because they don't get another have until 22 which is a huge gap but 14 to like 16 17 until there's a new infantry tech and infantry is at 15 so like you could push it to 15 maybe 16 and uh, the hussars the cab would still be beat this especially with the cab combat ability so yeah maybe build more cab and uh, for reference I don't think he has like 20 right now which uh, not very big you want to build a full cab stack in my opinion and um, yeah, uh, he's gonna get uh, goods produced. I think it was 33 percent, or yeah, 33. So very big, big econ buff for Poland incoming in like 10 years because Protestantism spawned. So he's gonna be able to field some cav. Right. Anyway, he has extra policies on. Should he have? I'm not paying for them. sure. Uh, if that's a bug or what, but because it didn't display right, but yeah, I think he has extra on. I don't really know why. Are any of them like important? Not really. I mean, you're not at war. You don't need the morale at the moment. Like, you don't need the monthly war exhaustion, institution spread, or missionaries. With anyway, fix that. You're losing mana for no reason, but. Um, yeah, diplo-wise, what happened with Poland was that uh, Hungary war, where they decked on Hungary and Bukhari intervened, and I think Poland took the brunt of it, because half of Poland was occupied, and he managed to get most of his prosperity back already, because that war was like at the start of the session. And uh, I think he has forts everywhere here, so it went quite uh, quickly. But, um, yeah, not much else happened here, and... Uh, that would be it for Poland. Hungary is... Yeah, Hungary was the target of the gank that I've mentioned like seven times now and I don't know why I keep bringing it up because, you know, people have more than five minutes of uh, memory span. Uh, um, could you check his ideas and his admin tech? Okay, so slide like behind an admin tech to check his admin advisor as well. Okay, wow, he is a very good ruler, very... Uh, yeah, okay, so what I saw here is that he has 4 inflation. Um, which is extremely painful. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna have to buy that down, and... Uh, if he can Golden Era, that makes it much cheaper. Uh, he already has Golden Era, so he should... Probably, he should probably start buying it down immediately. Yeah, that's really that's costing him, that's costing him so much money, and it also gives him shitty events. 
Yeah, the, definitely you want to buy down uh, a lot. Uh, I think that should be because, I mean, expansion wise, he's kind of set, right? So he's not going to need admin for much else for a while. And he's. I mean, I think maybe take the admin tech and then buy it down because the gov cap, uh, or yeah, the gov cap is going to be kind of important because he's over gov capacity as well. So that's going to help him increase his advisors and then buy it down quicker because he's going to be generating more mana. So I think that's what he was doing. He's probably going to take the admin tech and then start buying it down. And um, as far as being behind on ideas is, I don't think that's going to, you know, playing for too long because he's about to catch up. Wasn't there a inflation policy? I forget. Nope. I, guess I don't not. think available yet. Later on. Uh, but yeah, that inflation is really high. I think he bankrupted twice this season already, so... Uh, yeah, not very great. But anyway, uh, when he starts integrating his vessels, he's gonna explode quite a, quite a bit. He marched the retina, which has 300 dev. Croatia has 140, 80, so that's uh, 440 uh, plus 80, 520, and Bulgaria has, yep, yeah, I counted Bulgaria, and Bosnia is 46, so that's a uh, 560 dev in vessels that uh, he's gonna get when he integrates, and uh, he's already integrating Bulgaria and Croatia. And I'm guessing he's gonna demarsh right now when he integrates the other ones because they're gonna be less um, unruly. And then integrate that and uh, has a pretty strong country when that happens. But uh, yeah, he just needs to fix his inflation because that's pretty fucking high. Is there anything else he can do it? But instead of just like buying it down and waiting, mm -hmm. getting national bank. Mm, you need a plus three inflation one guy for that and. Was it the pair of advisors, or was it just one advisor? I forget. Oh, that one? Yeah, no, that that events the, the pair with the trade and... Or was it just, just the econ event? You lose five inflation. Um... Just a statesman, so... Yeah, uh, but he needs a stab as well. I don't. Can he trigger on positive stab? I forget. Oh, I can't. I can't. Yeah, so you might want to tank your stab and uh, go for the advisor. You already have the five admin, which is you know one of the things, and uh, you need a statesman. And I think he's a state. No, his master no, statesman is that one. Yeah, the so you, one. you already have a statesman level three, so you just need to tank your admin a little bit, and then you can uh, trigger this. Pretty should be pretty quick, right? Hmm. Yeah, he has decent chances of triggering it. Meantime, to happen 480 months. I mean, that's a, that's a fucking wild Jesus. One sec. It's 40 fucking years, God. Uh, it took me a while to calculate that, but yeah, that's pretty... Pretty shit, but I don't know. I was still fish for it for a couple years anyway. It's uh, pretty important when your inflation's <coughs> so high. Uh, but... Uh, legitimacy is none. Yeah. And the country just got trashed, but uh, he's still doing fairly well. I think he's holding up 4.4 uh, morale. He has the most uh, manpower in Europe that we've seen so far so not a bad country overall just needs a lot of fixing and he has gaming buttons to push which is always good yeah uh, let's uh what shall we do next Austria Uh, slightly more manpower than Hungary, and uh, I think slightly more morale, right? Very, very negligible amount more. I mean, he gets a lot of fucking generals. Anyway, what is happening in Austria?
Well, he's making a lot of money from production. That's uh, yeah. wonder if uh, Austria gets any production bonuses. Apparently not. I think he's a lot richer than Hungary. Yeah, a lot richer than Hungary. Just uh, good trade goods, I guess. No. He doesn't have any bonuses for it. And uh, I think all the manufacturers are built. He has some uh, iron still, but uh, negligible. All the workshops built everywhere. That's very nice to see. That would be why he's so much richer. His force limit is 129 with uh, 188,000 manpower, so pretty strong Austria. Uh, no professionalism saved up. And he has Golden Era active until 63, so for a while longer. I think if he wanted to punch at Hungary again, he could uh, if Bukhara didn't interfere. So, not a very bright situation for Hungary here. What else is happening here? I, uh, <coughs> I mean, I panicked a bit last session after the Bukharan gank. I thought I was about to die, so I moved my capital and bunkered it down. Why did you think you were going to die? With ramparts and mountains. Yeah, I, I figured that when Hungary survived that he was just going to uh, get France in and go for a double team Austria. But it didn't happen. You didn't notice that Hungary was bankrupting? Well, I didn't figure it mattered when... Bukhara apparently had an interest in protecting him. Yeah, but Bukhara wasn't going to go well, on the offensive. I was only going to equalize it. It's not like I was going to commit to kill you. I don't care that much about No, as I said, I <laughs> panicked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a uh, pretty fucking fortified down here. So yeah. that's nice. <clears throat> uh, the rest of the country. Yeah, pretty good fort line everywhere. Uh, except for the farmlands here, which is kind of weird. Yeah, well, that's just my old capital. I didn't delete it yet. Oh. I can see you built a lot of forts, but not like you had anything else to do with the money, because uh, everything else is built, and you're running uh, decent level advisors. Could be running higher, if especially if you get half cost anywhere, but yeah. I guess uh, forts are a bit more important when uh, you think there is impending doom coming from uh, the big yellow country. But... That would be it. I'd say it's more of an orange. It is it? Yeah, I think so. It's <laughs> orange, isn't it? My, it's not yellow. My color blindness strikes again. Yeah, it's definitely no, that, that, that's definitely <laughs> orange. Alright, alright, whatever. Fucking green, I don't care. Bukhara. Uh Tuscany. <laughs> Blue Bukhara. Uh pretty good income. He's uh, slightly lower than Austria, better than uh, Hungary and uh, definitely better than Poland. Uh, making most of it from trade, and I think the AI, oh, no, st still some coming out of, yeah, most of this income is his, it's, it's very negligible amount coming out of the trade deal, so, yeah, pretty, pretty strong <coughs> country, and he's about to push into giving the ability all the crown land, so his manpower is going to be even higher, and it's already very high, it's at 204,000. So, yeah, very strong country here. And uh, he's drilling everything, that's why he has so much uh, professionalism. He has the highest professionalism in the world. And with all the slackens, he's almost at half a million manpower. But obviously he's not going to slacken until he pushes to nobility, and then it's going to be a lot more coming from that. I'll just uh, do that to demonstrate anyway. He does have a pretty... pretty bad geographic position, like uh, if uh, Austria ever decides for for whatever reason to turn on him, he's uh, gonna have a very hard time fighting it back, even though he's stronger than Austria at the moment. This is just a uh, horrible positioning, but I think their alliance is uh, pretty firm. So nothing to worry about there. I think he went into... oh no. Yeah, this was a white piece. Uh, he was a part of the Hungarian war because he wanted to go into Ragusa, I think. Yeah. And uh, besides that, he's kind of uh, stuck for expansion because you know he can't go into a Deluja because it's much stronger. I uh, can't really push into France and uh, allied to Austria. Tried to go into Hungary, but yeah, Hungary got protected. Uh, 
take a look at buildings, although I figure everything is built because it's not a very big country and it's very strong. Yeah, everything is built, so nothing to look at here really. Nice. On the downside, that kind of means that he's not really going to scale too much on his own anymore. Which kind yeah. of sucks. He can build up a war chest. Yeah, he can dev. Uh, I think there's still a fair amount of deving to do. Or is everything in fucking 20 already? Jesus, Italy is fucking devved. He devved everything already. What a madman. But, uh, yeah, that would be it for Tuscany. Uh, what's he missing to form Italy? Oh, he can form Italy. Is it worth it for him to form Italy? He's probably waiting on the, the dev cost mission that Tuscany yeah. gets. Because he can yeah. stack it with the Italian one. He has a dev cost mission? Mm hmm. Um, where? That one. Make haste slowly, I think. Or did he already pop it? I think he already popped it. Uh, no, it's not popped. No, no, it's not that one. I think it's I think it's either public works or the one after that one. On the right path. Um, the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, then I don't know why he hasn't farmed Italy. Because his national ideas says Tuscany gives oh, the cost. Oh, that's true. Because you both Italian ideas. I still probably would would just keep Tuscan. But maybe not. No, the Italians are really good in the mod. They're better for fighting. Alright, let's take a look at Italy. I mean, it's a better color already, so, you know, that's an improvement. Um, Discipline, inf combat, and... National more manpower. Power 33, no morale though. And the fort defense is pretty important in Italy as well. Well, yeah. not this Italy as important. <laughs> but, but in a normal Italy, because he gets mountain forts, so 20% fort defense is pretty big. But uh, still, I think this is pretty good. I just don't know if it's an improvement. I don't think it's why he's at peace, but if yeah. he ever wants to fight, he should take Italian ideas. Yeah, but what missions does he get from that, now that he's Italy? Well, he gets a 10% death cost right off the bat. Um, um, that one? Yeah, immediately 10% mm -hmm. death cost, so that's pretty good. So even if he went Italy and kept Tuscan ideas, he gets the dev cost, so should be... Yeah, but just imagine if he stacked it. Yeah, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, that's it for Italy. Let's take a look at Hess. Um, Hess... I, I didn't mention when we were at Hanover, because he... Was Hanover a participant in this war? Was he, like, big in the war? Yeah. Or? He, yeah. he was. Okay. Yeah. I should have mentioned the war then, but uh, yeah, there was a uh, uh, GB Hess uh, Hanover versus Burgundy and Andalusia war. Hanover came, only came in because Andalusia did. And, like uh, Burgundy could have easily fought Hessian by himself. It happened twice. Uh, the second time when Hess went uh, <laughs> bankrupt, and, yeah, and uh, Burgundy, Burgundy lost both wars, and uh, most uh, land went to. Oh, he lost two provinces to Hesse, and a lot of provinces to England, and uh, one province to Hanover. Uh, but yeah, this was this is the bloodiest war in the season so far. Uh, it's pretty even, casualty-wise, and uh, there was no stack wipes on either side. Well, there was like one or two for 20,000. Yeah, two million casualties. And the uh, next closest one is the Hungarian war with... Uh, uh, Hungary versus QQ, actually, uh, with uh, 930, so by far the bloodiest war so far, and then its sequel is another 600,000, so, yeah, it was pretty bloody up here, and uh, as a result of it, England now has uh, full control of English Channel, and is gonna start scaling really hard with the money, but uh, yeah, anyway, back to Hess, he got uh, Two provinces here. I think it was. No, he, he got a little bit more because one of them was subjects. I think he got two. Yeah, he got points. Munster. Munster was Burgundian subject, and he took two provinces from Munster up in the north. So he got a fair bit of uh, dev. He got. Dev. He got five provinces. Uh, all right. Uh, so Hess had uh, a bankruptcy already, and it doesn't look like he's going into another one. He's uh, survived the second war pretty uh, lightly, it looks like. And. Uh, yeah, the country seems to be recovering. No prosperity anywhere yet because, you know, bankruptcy does that, but is recovering slowly. Uh, very fortified. 
Although a lot of farmlands forts could do better there, but I think they're just the default ports and he never deleted them. <coughs> <coughs> so anyway, what's happening in Hess besides that? He is at 4.3 morale, which is uh, the weakest European we've seen so far, I think. But can he click? Sorry? Can he click Westphalia? Is that, does that improve anything yet? Mm. At peace. So. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this Westphalian ideas. Um, force limit. Yeah, I don't know if this is an improvement. I mean, he gets dev cost minus 5%, but besides that, the, the, it's not the best ideas. Mm, <coughs> actually, I, I lose 5% dev cost before my Westphalia has 10%. Oh, so. But I, I would gain the 20 or 25% advisor uh, cost reduction from Westphalia. Uh, for you think, Ultra guys? Are you sure? Yeah, it's go the over the one. culture. That one you just passed. You the, the culture the idea. Oh, yeah, that's nice, I guess. But still not. Damn. Yeah, but. It's very underwhelming. I was expecting them to be better. Yeah, not much in terms of military, really. So. Yeah, I guess you have to form Poland then. Unlucky. <laughs> um, Yikes. Besides that, Econ's uh, looking decent-ish, and uh, yeah, that's about it to say for Hess. Uh, allied with uh, GB, rival with uh, well, rival with Poland naturally because you know he's gonna form Poland. But uh, yeah, that would be it. We're gonna look at uh, France, England, Andalusia, and then the Africans, and wrap it up. Oh, Portugal's there too. Yeah, right. Um, France was uh, AI and also uh, brain dead for like 10 minutes and a lot of shit overcapped so I did a uh, little bit of save fixes I think I gave myself like 200 ducats to compensate but uh, besides that uh, not much happened here last session I got my provinces from uh, Burgundy got Tyrol which also has cores on Austrian uh, capital which I didn't know it's kind of weird that I released it in Sandgau, and then it starts with cores in here. It's a little weird, but you know, whatever. Pog champ. Yeah. How do you get to reconquest Austria? <laughs> 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 it's always an option. Um, I'm a little behind on uh, ideas, although that's again because it was brain dead for a while, or tech uh, ideas are finished. <clears throat> um, I stayed out of the Lowlands Wars, so literally nothing happened here. Uh, last session, I built the Fort Line, and uh, that's about it. Uh, 138 income. Morale is 4.87, I think. Uh, is that the highest in Europe so far? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, I'm not sure. Uh, during the war, I did get up to 5.1. Nice. It's the same as Austria, though. Yeah. Oh, nice. Austria's pretty high. It's because I don't have any... Elon what? Elon what? Elon what? Elon what? Yeah, maybe Final Wars. Loser. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm gonna be farming the Berg and the AI, so I'll get some... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get some army tradition there. I'm, uh, I tried going for the nobility push, but I guess in the end uh, it didn't really... It got a little fucked by the AI. Uh, I think the AI sold titles and uh, the brain dead just... Uh, yeah, it didn't do anything. Because uh, I desynced like I think a month before they came off cooldown, so that set me back a little bit, but whatever. I'm not gonna bitch about it and request save fixes. Uh, Golden Era lasts until 6 to 3. I think that's the exact same time that Austrians we popped it around the same time. And uh, I clicked the gamer button a little bit more. Where is uh, the gamer button counter? There it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Austria, or for France, sorry. 
and uh, yeah, let's take a look at GBR. <coughs> Hundred sixty thousand manpower. It's pretty good for a GB, especially with uh, you know the build that he went. I wonder if you're gonna go for a second milk group now or trade. If you go trade, um, you're just gonna be swimming in it, though. It really depends on how the session starts off. Hmm. I see. Uh, already making a ton of money, and uh, morale is at five because why not? Chad. How are you getting morale that high? What the fuck? Um, I'm at war with natives, so it's uh, the clergy. Army tradition and shit. Yeah. My army tradition isn't even that high. Yet. In fact, it's quite low. Yeah, I couldn't get a good general in either of the, of the wars to save my life. That's why I'm wondering why they're all so high. Do you have it? I don't see any... Oh, Golden Age, and then um, the 5% from being at war with heathens, heretics. Mm. Um, also, he's Defender of the Fate. That is true. I'm um, also Defender of the Fate. And uh, it's DR5, so that would be it. That's 20% yeah. morale mm -hmm. up. That's pretty fucking big, and you have the advisor going. That's uh, yeah. really nice morale. Um, well, do you have states? No, you don't have states general. You, can you get states general as England? No. Uh, no. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what's happening here is England got some uh, of uh, the trade centers in the lowlands, I think, all of them. Yeah, uh, all the trade centers, and then there's one asteroid remaining in East Frisia. Yeah, um, I don't uh, know if I don't know if that's going to be mine or or if I'll just let Hesh take it. I mean, excuse me, Hanover. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> when Bergen dies, you pretty much get all of them. Um... Yeah. So the main thing now is to find uh, trade nodes to feed into the English Channel, right? Hmm. They're very hard to find. Um, well, well, look at Africa. <clears throat> no, oh, they're easy to find. They're just hard to... Well, I won't say that. Why well, am I looking at Africa? I the coast. Ivory Coast. It's I don't have a single trade ship there. So the second that I send like 30 lights there, I'm gonna steal. I could steal. You could say, see <laughs> you the could. trade steering. Definitely wasn't a Freudian slip. I could steal. No, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, zoom in. You gotta show you how much how many ducats. It's like 60 some ducats. Yeah. Oof. Mm -hmm. is, do they have a trade deal, or is Portugal just stealing all of this? Portugal's just stealing all of it. Um, but. <laughs> Nice. I've been in talks. I've been in talks with a few people, so and they're they're going quite well. I kind of thought Sokoto and Portugal are, are friendly, but uh, mm. I, I guess not. But what uh, do you mean? Why are you? Portugal, I didn't say Sokoto. Right. Mm. Sorry, uh, took a lot of land from me. Uh, <laughs> didn't uh, Portugal take also the the gold mines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the gold mines. So uh, yeah, but I, I kind of figured they'd have a trade deal now because you know why not? But I get, I guess uh, there is a reason for it. They're not. It's just a very dangerous situation for Sakota to be in with Andalusia here as well. But uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look at GB's colonies. Uh, you have a player in 13C and uh, none on Louisiana, and you found yeah. Them, right? I've been trying. Please, guys, please play my colonies. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta spam the dead people. That's what you gotta do. I, I haven't. Look, he's a 666. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> 666s. They can just reelect. Yeah. Uh, um, no, so I've got there. Newfoundland and I've got Louisiana. I've been. I've been focusing more on Louisiana now because of all the natives there. But I'm about to get here on for. Canada and then uh, um, Newfoundland is gonna be really strong because uh, yep. what's it called the fucking uh, trade stations around the corner and mm -hmm, everything mm -hmm. here is for so if, you, and, if you're looking for money Newfoundland is gonna make a lot more money than Louisiana right and um, you know I've, I've finished pretty much all the manufactories in, in my land so I'm just gonna be spamming them into my colonies now Louisiana is so, just gonna be grain grain manpower. grain cattle but uh, you know that's also really good if you need someone to fight in the new world for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's look at thirteen C. And uh, has he done the trade thing? No, he hasn't. He's not pushing everything out yet. Uh, what you want him Looks to like do? He uh, no, he's uh, keeping half of it, or thirty-six percent of it. 
<laughs> what you wanted to do is uh, to move his trade center out of Chesapeake so he can push everything. Oh, but out. as you can see, uh, everything is flowing out, man. Like if you take uh, yeah, yeah everything's out. flowing out. Oh, sorry. I'm yeah, just, uh... his capital's in Philadelphia. Oh, at least it should be. Okay. His capital should be in Philadelphia. Yeah, no, I'm just uh, still waking up, so I'm. It's fine. Which is in the Ohio trade now. That is nice, but uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's it for your colonies. Is there anything oh. else going on in uh, Great No, Great very Great boring GB game. Very boring. <laughs> Nothing has happened though. Not as interesting as the last one. God, he was. No. You should really take a look at this guy there, Victor. Um, yeah, I've heard plenty about Mitch bragging about his GB. It's okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why Nibor is like, oh, I've got to contain this GB. I've got to. I've got to stop GB. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he's gonna scale so hard. Nibor is like, petrified. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm and I'm then like, Nibor ends up fucking me I'm, up instead. I'm, I'm giga me. upset at Nibor because his logic is just flawed. But go off, I guess. Yeah, Nibor's just petrified because he thinks it's gonna be another. Mitch I think flashbacks. I think, I think from fighting Burgundy, which you know was bound to happen when he was like fucking with my trade. Um, I've been like the most chill GB I probably could have been. Hmm. You know. Fred's is like, hey, can you take your merchant out of Champagne? I'm like, sure. Hanover's like, hey, can you take your merchant out of Lubeck? I'm like, yeah, of course, dude. No worries. So wholesome. So, I am. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, Andalusia. Uh, 200 income, 350, 1,000 manpower. I think he's the second highest manpower in the world. I... Well, he's the highest because he hasn't got the... What's it called? Is he the highest? Yeah, he is the highest. We checked this after the game. He's oh. not on Skanderbeg, but uh, he is in-game if you check. Oh, he is on Skanderbeg too. 351, you're at 344. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, very strong Andalusia. Has he converted everything? Yep, he's converted everything to Sunni now. It looks very cursed. And uh, even... Um, was this? Uh, Korsik? No, this is Sardinia. Is uh, Sunni. So uh, I think he converted to Sicily as well before selling it, which is kind of Chad. <coughs> <laughs> he gave uh, Sunni Sicily to Italy for money. That was a Nibor moment. Um, rival to GB, Ethiopia, and Hungary. Allied with France and Portugal. No one wants to be his enemy. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Don't blame him. He's, uh, he's 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 been pretty adamant on making me his enemy. So yeah, but it doesn't mean you want to be his enemy. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, not at this point. I see. We're gonna see some trade wars happening, I guess. It is what it is, I guess. All right. Um, what's his morale like? Four point six. So not the highest, but with the amount of manpower he has in the force limit, it doesn't really matter. He can literally roll over anyone in Europe at this point. I'd... Is he going to get Tercios? No, because he's not I Spain. Don't, yeah, I think he's just Spain. I don't think Andalusia has any age bonuses. They do not. So that's kind of sad. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Uh, yeah, not much else to say about the uh, Andalusia here. We already talked about the war up north, so yeah, nothing else is really happening here. Um, he clicked most of the gamer buttons when it comes to buildings, and oh, he's got a lot of manpower buildings still. Yeah, so he's still gonna scale a lot. And where's dev clicks? Oh a God. very good amount of dev clicks too. But yeah, let's take a look at Portugal. I didn't miss anyone in Europe, right? Yeah, I covered the room, I think. So Portu you're going for Portland? Portugal making a fair bit of money. What I noticed though is that he can set the um, uh, protect trade here to make more trade money, although I don't know if uh, they're keeping it around 50 uh, as a part of a deal. But, uh, you know, if they don't have a deal, he can always just do that and get more money in uh, Sevilla. Which uh, he might deserve, because I think he's the one pumping Sevilla the most. Yeah, a uh, lot more is incoming than his local, and all of that is from him. Oh, no, never mind. Andalusia has uh, Cuba, I forgot, and uh, New Castile, so 
there's a fair bit coming from uh, there too. <clears throat> yeah, um, but the most is still coming from Ivory Coast. Yeah, Brazil is not that developed yet. 63 coming from Ivory Coast. And a lot of that is just getting stolen from uh, everywhere. Christ is just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a thief. <laughs> He's stealing little bits from everywhere. Like, I'm just looking where he has land, that he doesn't really have land anywhere here. It's just like, uh... uh well, he land. does have Madagascar. Well, yeah, I mean, but he doesn't have land that's producing this trade income. It's just getting stolen from India, oh, yeah, from sure. Gulf of Aden, from uh, Malacca. I'm, I'm surprised he's not stealing from China, but yeah. <laughs> he will be, I'm sure. Yeah, soon. Uh, he, he, he just doesn't have enough merchants yet. Yeah, yet. But, uh, yeah, he finished uh, Brazil and set it up. Brazil's pretty built up now. He's got some gold mines popping up. And uh, I don't think he made another colony yet. Oh, he has Colombia. And Colombia's not getting as lucky with the gold mines. Although I don't think you can get any gold mines. Yeah, you can only get them in the south. Um, I don't know if he has a player in Colombia. I know he has a player in Brazil. So we're going to take a quick look at Brazil. Yeah, making a fair bit of money on gold and all of that is going to to Portugal. And, um... <coughs> yeah, not much else to see here. But, uh... Only running three colonists. It's going to scale pretty yeah. well. No, look look at Portugal again. Uh, I forgot to say that. He's only running three colonists with the H bonus. Yeah, that is a bit weird because he's had the age photos this entire time for yeah. plus 50 settlers and uh, he's getting an absurd amount of money which I don't know what he's doing with. Yeah, he can run five. Even more. In each colony that he makes uh, has plus three development. It's, yeah. Uh, right. Like he should just go way over the limit. I agree. Uh, he should go at least five, yeah, that's for sure. Oh, he's in the Philippines as well, so... Like, he could make, like, five or six, <clears throat> even seven, maybe. Uh, what he could do here is going for Australia, because he's right here, and Australia is a very good naval colony as well. Seeing as uh, Andalusia grabbed Cuba. <coughs> <coughs> he might want to do that for balance of power. Sorry for the coughing fits. Is he going for California? Um, yeah. No. He's nowhere in North America. Just uh, Colombia. I mean, he better not. Colombia, Brazil. He's got the gold mines here, and then he's just colonizing hard in Africa and um, Philippines. But um, yeah, just uh, stealing lit little bits of everywhere, every ev everything everywhere. And uh, I really thought he had the trade deal with Sokoto, but I guess not. He doesn't even have a merchant here and he's stealing fucking seven ducats. God, the trade in this game is broken. Alright, Sokoto. Our first African out of the two. And then we're done. <coughs> uh, Sokoto has pretty good income. Almost uh, on par with Andalusia, which is surprising. Andalusia's on 200, he's in 165. <laughs> Uh, a lot of it coming from gold because uh, he's got the, all the gold mines in the Congo now as well. And yeah, there's zero autonomy. This one just needs a little bit of deving. Uh, it looks like Ethiopia grabbed the rest of them here, and I think this is their border deal because they're allied. So there, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any more contention here. I don't know if he gets that uh, government reform for. Yeah, he gets a free colonist, so he can also colonize here around the Great Lakes and uh, I think there's yeah more colonizable land here I just don't know what this deal with Ethiopia for that is because um, there's a pretty big amount of provinces here that needs to get colonized <clears throat> and whoever gets that is uh, gonna be the stronger African although for now I think Sokoto is way stronger than Ethiopia yes uh, his morale is at 4.6 so again uh, pretty good, I think, on par with Castile. His manpower is what's lacking. Castile had, uh, or Andalusia had uh, 301,000. He has 
174 uh, although he has some uh, professionalism to make up for it but um, <clears throat> yeah all in all a pretty decent country just uh, a weird diplo spot because not going to war with uh, Portugal and uh, not trade dealing with him either allied to Ethiopia I don't know what that alliance is gonna bear unless they just uh, end Andalusia together but I don't know if they can because uh, yeah uh, Ethiopia is in a vulnerable spot as well with Timurids and Hungary being there and Hungary already pushed down to Syria so yeah and also they have you know Portugal threatening them everywhere and <coughs> just being able to steal all of um, Ethiopia's money but um, yeah, that's about it for Sokoto. I don't think there is anything else to say here. Not much to happen, so yeah. Ethiopia is the last nation in the game. And um, he got subbed by. It was Foe first, and then <clears throat> someone else hopped on. I think the. Uh, yeah, the guy that, that jumped on Wu. Yeah, the new guy. And he played Wu pretty well. I imagine he played Ethiopia. Um, as well. Um, I don't know why burgers are running with uh, two policies. I mean, we're still in Age of Discovery. <clears throat> you don't really need the absolutism, so should be running full policies here to get uh, loyalty, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, half of his income is coming from gold, and uh, that's making his inflation climb. He could uh, get the Inflation Reduction Advisor uh, when this one dies, because I don't think you want to fire a plus 5, 50% off guy. <clears throat> Alternatively, you can also try and uh, fix your income a little bit to be less dependent on gold. And you can do that by, I think, sorting out your trade. Yeah, collecting in both Alexandria and Zanzibar right now. Um, what do you think is optimal here? <clears throat> I think that's fine. One's your home node, the other you collect, and otherwise you're missing out on half your country's trade income. Cause... Yeah, I was just thinking with uh, the steering bonuses, he could uh, try and sort of... Oh, yeah, I don't think he's locking down Zanzibar. No. Yeah, so I think this is the best he can get. Yeah, I mean, is he transferring trade from his... The vassal, like Mombasa, Moravi, or are those even his vassal? Uh, yeah, diverting trade from Mombasa, Moravi isn't his vassal. And uh, oh, it geez. has a tier 2, or it has two centers of trade, so that's pretty <clears throat> pretty important for Zambezi. But uh, the problem is that Zanzibar has two centers of trade, in, uh, or Madagascar has two centers of trade in Zanzibar, so uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem for him. Uh, military wise 164,000 um, <clears throat> manpower uh, 4.5 morale so about the same ish as Songhai or Sokoto Sokoto just has uh, better econ and uh, he's a little bit behind on um, ideas and um, yeah that's about it for Ethiopia I think not much else to say I don't think anything happened here either uh, there was no war with Hungary because Hungary was getting gangbanged out of war and uh, Timurids is busy eating up QQ so it was uh, pretty chill here and uh, yeah anyway that's it I gotta go before I lose my voice completely and uh, I'll see you on Thursday